My name is Steven Hendricks. I am a freshman at Bennington College and we're here at Google. I was lucky enough to come here for my field work term to work in cross-advertiser user experience. And we are in the control room of Studio 360, which is a podcast about the arts and culture here at WNYC in New York. I'm working on an oral history project um, and narrative collecting, going straight to the community, uplifting their voice, um, and presenting a platform in which their voices could be heard. I knew n next to nothing about neuroscience before my first field work term here. I've kind of learned it all on the job. I always tell field work term students, go and throw yourself into everything and find the areas that you're most interested in. I was initially very nervous when I got here, like kind of at the bottom of the food chain of um, this institution, but that's not how I've been treated at all. I've been treated as a student, as someone who has a lot to learn, and but who's not stupid. And so we want to make sure that what they're coming away with is some sort of knowledge or skill set that will serve them well, more broadly speaking. I just realized after working for the, the Luthiers at the Brooklyn Luthery that there was so much skill and so much time was needed in order to develop that skill. I, I realized that if I really wanted to kind of pursue this as a career, I needed to try making investments, time investments. For interns, I want to give them an idea of the system. Here's why something like this is important, because it feeds into this, which feeds into that, which is absolutely essential for the running of the organization. The best part of my field work terms of government have been learning that I'm already prepared or comfortable in a legislative environment where things are chaotic and things change from day to day. It's also, I think at this point, help inform more so how my work at Bennington could be done as opposed to when I got in here I thought the work term would be a, a complete supplement to to my studies. I think I think they definitely go hand in hand by now. When you're trying to become you know an expert in your field the way you do that is just by immersing yourself in your field. Um, but it also gives the students the ability to really have a project that simulates what goes on in real life. So we always do a project where we'll, I'll actually give the students an assignment that a startup company might have, um, a challenge that is in the business, and, um, and actually have them go through the entire process of looking at you know, who are our users, what, is, what are their lives like, what are their pain points, and how can we design a product that's compelling to them. The big thing here is that, you know, I'm doing science, you know, this isn't playing, this isn't doing, like doing an established experiment in a class for the experience of like doing the techniques or whatnot. When I collect data, I'm collecting data that is going to contribute to a paper that's published. This is really me hands-on and implementing um, a practice and, and using it at a different organization, seeing how I can form my own work. All these skills are, are so vital. It started as a, as a sort of side interest and I just kind of grew more and more invested in trying to make it something that I could be good at. I knew that I'd have to spend time doing it. It couldn't just be a two-month internship. It had to be something that I followed up on and continued. I think through working in a finance department and through being a legislative intern, I'm certainly setting up the qualifications for a role in government. And I love working in the government. On this cutting-edge research with these cutting-edge instruments, I think you, you can't really get that anywhere else. Mm -hmm.